all went down. <laughs> that was, <laughs> the uplift almost just went downhill real fast. You try to tippy toe. <laughs> That's what happens when you try and like run in uh, your heels. Okay, I'm fine. Nobody's right. hurt. It just was like very embarrassing. Mm. Anyway, in today's uplift segment, I'd like to start with something that makes me smile. Watch this. <laughs> and it's time once again for a check on the weather. Ryan, how's it looking out there? Looks, uh, looks pretty good. Thanks, Ryan. That's right. That's my future ex-husband, Ryan Reynolds. Just ignore the fact that he's already married to a children. He was delivering the weather forecast. The actor appeared on John Krasinski's web series, Some Good News. He delivered the forecast from his backyard, looking slightly confused. I don't know. Maybe we should get him some tips from Heather Myers. Hey, how are you feeling stuck at home? Are you feeling bored as hell? So is this guy. He's not and trying to mess with COVID, but in here it's clear. I'm running out of mean and I polished all the silver twice. I end all my underwear. Thought about my shortcomings in life Applied for unemployment upon life Since I can't go outside no more I need new things to do indoors I cut my hair Guides, the former The Voice contestant Chris Mann knocking it out of the park with all of his parody videos. Ones all of us can relate to on some level, I'm sure. That's his parody of Lizzo's song, Good As Hell, or in the time of COVID-19, Bored As Hell. You can check out his YouTube page, Chris Mann. He's got a ton of awesome parody songs he's done during quarantine. And finally, getting a sibling is supposed to be a magical thing. That is, unless you don't want one. Oh my God, he's going to cry. <laughs> First of all, it's a pretty creative gender reveal. Second of all, it turns out this little dude clearly did not want a little sister. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, buddy, this is just the start of a lifetime of being disappointed by women. <laughs> just kidding. I'm sure he's going to make a great big brother once oh, he stops hilarious. crying. Uh, that was, I like that gender reveal. Nobody got hurt. Nothing blew up. I know. No you know, fires were started. It's mm -hmm. funny because both of my boys, the older boys, wanted a little sister. And yeah. I wonder now if they would have got a little brother, if they would have had that same reaction. <laughs> Maybe they've just built up what, you know, what it's going to be, you know, what the gender is going to be. I don't know. I wonder what it would be like for you with three boys. Eric. Oh, no. Gosh. <laughs> two boys is enough. It's like, no, thank yeah, you. Three boys, you don't want two girls. I mean, my mom had two girls, and she every day reminds me of how horrible it was. Yeah. yeah, we're right down the middle at our house. Three boys, three girls, including the dog. Anyway, thanks, Jen. Hey, Louisiana police need your help right now looking for an aggressive chicken accused of foul play, breaking social distancing rules and terrorizing people at the ATM. Please come to your screen. Here's a rendering of the culprit. Now, according to the Walker Police Department, officers responded to the scene to find that chicken, quote, apparently anticipated the imminent arrival of law enforcement and fled on foot from the scene. According to the complaint, the chicken had been terrorizing bank customers all week. At both the walk-up ATM and the drive through bank officials told officers the chicken chased customers, attempted to enter customers' cars, and on a number of occasions failed to engage in proper social distancing for shame. Well, as you can see, it's a reddish tan chicken and about 18 inches tall. I don't know, weighs about eight pounds. So uh, if you see this chicken, <laughs> contact police. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Are you bored in the house? Bored in the house, bored? Well, get out of the house and start staring at birds. Speaking of birds, move over TikTok dances and baking bread. According to the Associated Press, bird watching is on the rise during quarantine. So if you're doing that, raise your hand, which is perfect because it's nesting season and peak migration for hundreds of bird species. During nesting season and peak migration, uh, people are downloading these free bird identification apps. That's from Cornell. The Cornell bird cams have also doubled in views. The free bird identification app from the Cornell Lab of Ornithology was downloaded about 9,000 times just during Easter weekend alone. So this is what people are doing. They're doing a little bit of bird watching there. Uh, a former contestant on The Voice is making parodies that we all can relate to while we're under lockdown, like this one. Nothing's making sense, no more friends, no more basketball kids, our home from school, it's raining too. My, 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 my,
Do you recognize, recognize this guy? Chris Mann became known for being on the TV show The Voice. He came in fourth place. He was working with Christina Aguilera. Uh, Mann released the music video My Corona, which now has more than six million views. It's a parody of the Knack's famous single, of course, My Sharona, turning a love song about a young woman into a track dedicated to the COVID-19 pandemic. He's got so many on his YouTube page. You got to go check it out, Chris Mann. My Corona. I mean, people are getting so creative yeah. these days, right? Yeah. Had the had the uh, the gloves on to boot there. Yeah. <laughs> and the look in his eyes, he was intense. Jenny, when you started saying bored in the house, bored, I've seen so many of those TikTok videos. I couldn't <laughs> say all the lyrics, because if you're on TikTok, you know it's yeah, well, yes. not yes. appropriate. Yeah. But this is a family show. <laughs> right. Right. Thank you, Jenny.